Hey, welcome back. Today I made scones, but there's weed in it. You might be thinking, I thought scones were those really dry triangle things from Starbucks. And you're right, they are also that. But these scones are from one of the first cookbooks I ever got, Teens Cook, which you might have also received if you were a preteen that was mildly interested in baking. Um, and it's actually the only recipe I've ever made out of that cookbook, but I saw it on the shelf the other day and I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna make scones and I'm gonna put weed in them. So I did. And today I'm gonna show you how to make six scones with about 40 milligrams each. I started off by weighing out my weed. I was going for about 240 milligrams total, and here's the equation I use for dosing. Then I set my oven to 240 and start breaking up my weed. You just want to break your nugs into smaller pieces with your hands instead of grinding it. I've noticed that when I do grind it, the weed flavor comes through a lot more in the butter. Then I put that in the oven for about 35 minutes to decarb and start melting my butter. I'm putting half a cup of water and half a cup of butter into a saucepan and melting that on a very low heat. When my butter is sitting at a stable temperature between 185 and 200 degrees, I'm ready to add in my decarbed weed. I cook this for about two and a half to three hours, stirring every 30 minutes or so and checking regularly to make sure I'm staying in that 185 to 200 degree range. When my butter is finished cooking, I just strain out the weed. You can already see there's a layer of butter starting to form on top of that water, but I like to stick a lid on mine and put it in my refrigerator to help that butter layer solidify a little bit quicker. Here is my final butter once it's solidified. I just use a knife to break that top layer and remove the pieces of butter from the water. I always like to weigh my butter at the end to make sure I have enough for my recipe, so this time I needed to add a little bit more to get back to my 4 ounces or half cup. I left it out for about an hour to soften, and then I creamed it together with a whisk until it was light and fluffy like this. Then I added in 3 tablespoons of sugar and creamed that together as well. Then I added in one egg and an additional egg yolk and half a teaspoon of vanilla and stirred that to combine. Then I added in a sixth of a cup of milk and stirred that to combine as well. Then I added one and a half teaspoons of baking powder and half of a teaspoon of salt and mixed that very thoroughly. Then I switched to a spatula to mix in my one and a half cups of flour. I did it in parts just to make it a little bit easier to add in and to make a little bit less of a mess. And lastly, I added in a third cup of mini chocolate chips and mixed those in until they're evenly distributed throughout our dough. Then I got out my baking sheet and measured out six dollops of dough. If you use a one-third measuring cup, you get pretty much exactly six even scones every time. As you can see, the dollop method makes them a little bit messy looking, so I grab a spatula and kind of smooth out the sides and make them just a little bit more uniform looking. I also like to top each of them with a couple more chocolate chips just to make them look nice. Then I refrigerate them for at least 15 minutes and preheat my oven to 350. Here they are ready to be baked, so I'll just put them in that 350 degree oven for 15 minutes and then decrease the temperature to 325 for an additional 10 to 15 minutes until they are finished and lightly golden on the edges like this. And that is it, they are ready to be eaten. Like I said, they should be about 40 milligrams each, but with homemade edibles it is hard to tell, so just eat half if you need to, and keep in mind it can take 2-3 to three hours for edibles to fully kick in. Let me know what you thought of this video in the comments, and if you make these at home, I would love to see pictures. You can find me on Instagram, and as always, thank y'all so much for watching.